guys and welcome to another video. My name is Annabelle and today I wanted to talk about why I chose not to go to college. I filmed a video two years ago that I just rewatched about the reasons that I was planning on not going to college or I think at the time I had pretty much decided I wasn't going to college. And it just brought back a lot of memories of what it was like in that moment. And I think now, you know, the reasons have kind of developed a little bit more since I really, you know, haven't been in college for two years. And so I have more to say and I think I can deliver it in a way that would be more beneficial to the audience and I'm also planning on creating a kind of mini series about college and so if you have questions um, you can leave them below more relating to not going to college but questions relating to that um, topic I guess so to start with I did want to go to college at one point all throughout middle school and half of high school you know, I had these big plans for myself. I, I initially, probably around 8th grade, was thinking, oh, I want to be a fashion designer, so um, I got all into that. And then it went over to more like interior design stuff. And then it developed into business and maybe marketing and um, architecture. And so there were so many things that I was interested in. So I was definitely looking at colleges because, you know, that kind of felt like the right thing to do. I have three older siblings and they all went to college and so it just seemed to um, make sense that I would go to college. There wasn't a reason, I guess, that I had as to why I shouldn't go or I didn't want to go. So that all kind of changed when I started this tiny house build and you know I, I learned everything from YouTube and there's other videos you can watch about that whole journey but I'm not going to share much here but what I, what I came to realize is that I could learn anything I wanted on YouTube and so I did in relation to other things other than this tiny house build I looked up you know marketing and how to build a website how to edit videos how to write a book how to publish an ebook and so there's a whole bunch of things that I you know began to explore other than this this tiny house build and how I was going to actually do it during that same period of time so this all happened um, 11th grade, I started building towards the end of 11th grade and then it was during that summer of, of you know, in between 11th and 12th grade that I really came to the conclusion that, that college wasn't going to be something that would serve me at this point because through YouTube I was really able to explore so many different things that I was interested in and I was able to recognize that college and the college experience choosing a degree would really not serve me at this point because there are so many things that I wanted to do and equally a part of that was I was really done in terms of of school at this point I was kind of um, campaigning, I was campaigning to my parents to try to get um, me to only attend school for what I needed to get the credits to graduate so that I could explore all these other things that I was interested in. But I wasn't able to convince them and so I did, you know, complete that, um, th my last year of high school fully, but I also took two online community college classes. And so while this whole video is about not going to college, I guess in technical terms you could say that I took two college courses, so you could completely discredit everything I'm saying. 
it was through those community college classes that I also realized, you know, because I was being pushed and I was being questioned. It was like, well, why don't you just do online classes and, um, you know, you can get an associate's and then decide from there. And that made a certain amount of sense to me. And, you know, it still kind of does make sense. But I took those two um, classes during the fall semester and fall semester of college, not, anyway, you understand. And I realized that one was anthropology, because that's also something I was interested in, and entrepreneurship. What I realized through that and through the senior year of high school is that I'm really, even if I were to go to college, I wouldn't get very much out of it, because I am so, I was so done with being um, forced, if you will, into choosing what to do with my time. You have assignments and stuff throughout high school and then people say, oh, but you know, you actually choose your degree and you get to decide what it is that, you know, you want to do. But at the same time, you have tons of assignments and tons of different courses that, you know, ultimately those courses might not interest you and the assignments might not be something you want. And so don't go bashing in the comments right now because I can already hear a ton of people saying, you know, those assignments help you grow. And yes, I completely agree with that. But if I'm at a place in my life where I'm just totally not open to more learning in that environment of, you know, you being the student and someone else being the teacher, then that just wouldn't work for me. Um, and that was the other main reason as to why I chose you know, not to attend college. I feel extremely grateful that I was exposed to those types of, of opportunities and experiences through the building of this house and through some other in-person things that I went to that made me realize, you know, college isn't right for me and how can I make this work? And so I was really supported by my family to not go to college, which is something that people really struggle with. You know, I, I definitely don't think they were completely on board, but they also saw that I was actually making progress in, you know, this pursuit of other things that I wanted to do, creating an online presence, I guess you could say, which is also really important, but not for this video, because that's, you know, not part of of my story really but so there's just two more things I want to briefly touch on and then I'm gonna end this video one being you know the the people that surrounded me totally questioned my decision um, and one of the the arguments was that was the exact opposite of the way I see it and that was you know, if you don't go to college, you're not going to have opportunities, you're not going to network, you're not going to have connections to actually um, get a job and to um, move forward with your life. And so while that's totally valid, and for some people, I think college really is necessary, and depending on the degree and the type of job you want, of course. But for me, I saw it the opposite, because I was exposed to all these opportunities that were outside of college. And so to me, college and the opportunities that might be there for me were holding me back from these other bigger, greater opportunities that I saw um, around me through you know, all the things that I've been talking about. The last thing I want to talk about is get being, um, you know, graduating at 22 years old and having, you know, pile of debt to your name and a necessity to get a job immediately to start paying off those loans. I have three older siblings, they all had student loans, two, two of them have paid them off and one, one hasn't yet. This whole idea of you know going to college to move yourself forward and then it actually, you know, setting you back 50000 100000 however much. I don't know what the average, um, the average debt um, college students now graduate with. But, you know, it's not, 
it's not just, oh yeah, let's go to college and then, you know, you end up with all this debt. It's something you have to pay back. And in some cases, you know, 100000 is the cost of a, of a decent house. It's like you think about that. Um, it's just, just ridiculous. And so that definitely, definitely played a role, but a less significant role, I would say, than, than the others for me. But I think a lot of people, that is their main, their main reason for not um, wanting to go to college now, because it's just so expensive. Um, and there's other opportunities elsewhere. How I kind of looked at this idea of, you know, having debt versus choosing not to go to college and maybe having, um, you know, less money to do things for a certain period of time until I built myself up and I, you know, kind of monetized um, the things that I do. So say you spend, you know, four years in college and you end up with $60,000 in debt and then you have to spend the next, I don't know, six years paying that off. Here I am, right, graduating from high school, choosing not to go to college, and I'm already in the positive, if you can look at it that way, right? I don't have any debt to my name, and I do have some money in the bank. And so you think about that, what I just, you know, maybe people would pay more than 10000 a year on, on their um, college loans, I don't really know, but I just made up that example, and that was 10 years of your life. And so say you graduate at 22, by 32 you would finally be where I'm at, so to speak, right? There's many different ways to look at it. I'm choosing to kind of shift it in the way that I want to because for the purpose of, of describing my choice, of course, um, it makes sense. And you know, you could say you get a better paying job and you work yourself up more even though you may have debt. Fair enough, I, I get that too. How I've been able to see it is that if I can spend these next four years and get to a stable place where I'm supporting myself and have you know enough free money that I feel like I can do what it is that I want, how is that a bad investment of my time? And you know, maybe at some point I will want to go to college and at that point I will really want to go to college and I'll really want to learn. And that's something I just, you know, wasn't interested back then and I'm still not interested in, in now. To think that, that a lot of people go to college partly for the experience, maybe feeling pressure to, but to think that they really aren't invested in what they're learning or the degree that they chose, it just baffles me that, that you know, parents could force kids to go to college like that and kids could not want um, to be invested in their education, in their future life, you know, their, what they're probably going to do for the next at least 10 years, maybe more, who knows. And I also recognize that, you know, some people aren't self-motivated and some people um, really do need to push and parents, you know, have no other choice than to put them in college. Fair enough. Um, that's a topic for, I think, another video because I've already, um, I think I've really covered what I wanted to in terms of sharing why I chose not to go to college. Um, I'm planning on writing a book on what exactly I do in these four years, what I did in the past two and what I'm going to do or what I would have done by the time that the book is finished. Help people understand that, you know, this choice of not going to college is something you can do and to feel empowered to, you know, your own life and the, and the life you want to live for the next, you know, years of your life because college isn't just, you know, an immediate decision and with no repercussions. Um, maybe for some of you, you get a full ride scholarship, that's great, or you get, um, or your parents are able to pay for your education so you don't end up with loans but you know the majority of people do have have loans and it's it's a real struggle I think for people to really find themselves. I hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit at least and um, I'm so excited to get more in depth about different topics um, different subcategories of this 
this whole big um, series that I'm hoping to do. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you super soon. Ah!